Okay, this is the Peacock Caddis. We're tying it on a Mustard R30, size 14. Dry fly hook. I know very little about this pattern other than it fishes very well. It's one of the classic caddis patterns. So we want a foundation of tying thread all the way along the hook shank first because we're going to cover this with peacock hell. So we go all the way back like so. Get rid of that. We need a peacock hurl. Let's get it the right way. Tie this in right at the back. And we go forward. Again, I'm using the rotation of the vice to uh, wrap the peacock hell so it's important that uh, I make several more wraps at the front to get that started the right way there we are. now you want to cover about two-thirds of the hook shank with the peacock hurl because it's uh, we need to leave room for both the wing and the hackle or hackles there are two original uh, recipes for this one with just a brown hackle one with a brown and grizzle hackle mixed and that's what I'm going to do just tie off that peacock hurl So, we can remove that. There we are. Now we need our elk wing. Just a small bunch, about the size of a matchstick. And once you've cleaned it and stacked it, it should be approximately the right amount. A little bit further than the length of the hook but what we want to do here now if you see this section of hook shank between the body and the hook eye we don't want to start as you normally would with the wing tight into the peacock hurl body because what will happen then is the, way, the wing will flare so we need to go down a ways a wee bit and we'll tie it in there for the first time so a little bit longer than the body and we'll go around a couple of times and then we'll tighten. Then what we want to do is just go through the hairs a wee bit just to tighten everything into position, stop the hair from spinning. That'll do us there, that's good. Now we need to remove this overshooting deer hair just do this carefully there's no rush There we are. Now, tie this down nice and tight at the front and then you can see here still there's a small section of bare body. So what we do now is we go back but not tight. This will hold your wing in the correct position and then as you go forward you can tighten up a wee bit. And then you should have the correct wing position over your peacock hull body. So 
I can go up now, getting ready for the hackles. Good. Then we need a grizzle hackle. in towards the front and we take our ankles and we wind them together keep it nice and tight this is another very fat hackle you want yeah, that will do us Tie those off. Whip finisher. doing two hackles like this I like to use a sharp blade just at the base of the hackles like so just need a little bit pulled down on the other side we'll just get rid of that have it. There's the finished peacock caddis. Lovely little pattern, uh, especially if you're fishing pocket water and riffled water, just as a, uh, a searching pattern works a treat. Thanks for watching.